guys and welcome to Astro Design. This video is uh, about uh, human design and Gene Keys prediction. So each week I uh, will make a prediction for you based on the general energy into which the largest and most significant planet in the universe, our Sun, will enter. Every week the Sun resides between 5 to 6 days in the energy of each gene key, or the other word for it, gate. In these videos I will talk about the meaning of this energy and how people will use it in the above week. The video also includes a short meditation with positive statements that will help you rise to a higher energy frequency of the dominant energy this week. The information in the video is based on human design, gene keys and of course on my personal experience. This week is going to occur between the 17th of November until the 21st. The sun will reside at the gate 14. The ability to accumulate and manage material plane as well as intelligent use of energy. The most common word in the concept of energy is money, but the power of this gate is not based on money solely, but on a biochemical energy resource within us that knows in which direction to invest and what to get from it in order to have satisfaction and accumulate more material wealth. In the negative frequency zone, there are many compromises and a misuse of money and energy in general. In the high frequency comes the ability to conduct ourselves, proper, conduct ourselves properly in these elements. The secret here is simple but very hard to achieve. Do what you love and love what you do. Do not compromise on a direction that has been offered to you, a job that has been offered to you only because it has some money or stability that your brain and comfort zone loves. It will only deplete your energy and you won't utilize it effectively. In addition, it is important not to become a slave neither for your work, nor in relationships, nor in regard to money and assets. That is, do not let money control your life. It is important to release the money as much as it does not want to control you. No doubt this energy is very fond of working and it's very difficult for it not to do something all the time. But this energy tends to stuck in life, which creates deep frustrations and exhaustion. This energy very much wants to produce money, still, at the expense of satisfaction and love of occupation, it creates the exact opposite and harms physical health, especially the small intestine. There is no doubt that the issue of compromise exists all over the world and not just for gate 14 uh, solely. Still, those who have this gate defined in the map can be an example to others how to get out of this compromise and go in our individual directions that gives us pleasure and satisfaction. The question, of course, here is do you know what contributes to your satisfaction? This question don't relate to this gate, uh, but touches a lot of people around the world. So this week you have the opportunity to wake up to your unique direction and flow more with what gives you pleasure and, satis pleasure and satisfaction. Do not rush to say no to what you are doing right now. But also, do not compromise if it leads to exhaustion and financial uh, problems. Ask yourself in which field you are compromising and to what extent. So, as usual, I will uh, divide people into three main groups utilizing this energy this week. The first group are uh, very helpless and exhausted people. 
the more they compromise in their lives, the more it happens to them. The more they, are, uh, they engage in what they do not like, the more they, are, they waste their energy on emptiness, on nothing. It also addresses the issue of sexuality. And such people are sexually turned off, off, as they are energetically turned off. Fear of going in a more suitable direction frightens such people and they get stuck in the existing and horrible direction. The second group, these people are enslaved uh, the same as the previous group, but instead of being paralyzed, they are very active and work even harder to supposedly get the money they think they need. In an attempt to prove to themselves that this is exactly what they need and therefore must stay and stick with it. Their need for recognition is greater than their need to go in the direction that suits them best. They try to prove to others that they have a lot of energy and agree to every job and project even if there is not what they really like or want. The third group are people who are the minority in the population. They have stopped compromising on themselves. They are aware of the fact that if the body has not approved entry into any process or work, then there will be no energy available for it and no resources will come and there will be no satisfaction. They do what they love out of their physical awareness and this inevitably leads to their expertise. They develop efficiency at work, enthusiasm, talent and flexibility that is expressed in their ability to leverage talent for all sorts of areas. Thanks to all this, the energy of life itself contributes to them earning more and being very successful. If you want to elevate your energy frequency from the shadows and extremes of the first and second groups to the third and more harmonious and balanced group, I prepared important and positive statements to support this process. To internalize the positive statements, I invite you to close your eyes and just listen to each statement and feel how it is resonates in your ears and inside your head and heart. After you close your eyes, please start taking deep breaths and with each breath you feel that every cell and compartment in your body begins to release tension. Please repeat the following sentences within your heart. I have the ability to listen to my inner desire and not compromise on it. The most important things to me are to love what I do and everything else will come effortlessly. Loving my occupation contributes to high levels of energy in my life. My ability not to compromise on myself inspires others to also go in the direction unique to them. I have all the energy and material comfort I need in my life as long as I do what I love. My satisfaction testifies to the immense ability I have to attract what I need. I have unique skills and when I treat them with respect it attracts material stability. 
All of these sentences are true to my life and will contribute to me being satisfied with both the occupation and the material aspects. Thank you all for watching. For more interesting videos, please subscribe and don't forget to put a thumbs up. Until the next video, I wish you all the best. Take care and bye-bye.